Sean, I'm going to have to hit you with an emotional question. We all went through, you know, you know going through a breakup and yeah. these things happen. And I want you to give not, a lot of stuff's going on, Sean. It, it ain't just you. I want you mm. to give me some advice on the transition that you have to make that when you go through something emotional or happy, mm. you no longer can call that person you normally call mm. and share that mm -hmm. information with. Yeah. How do you deal think, with that? I think for me, a lot of it was about giving myself a lot of grace, you know, and not being too hard on myself about the feelings and, and the kind of spikes of I'm good and spikes of I'm not good. Yeah. But um, I think a big one for me was, realizing that there's so many people in my in my life that I can rely on I don't just have to put all of my you know hardship onto one person right. and I think like that that was a huge thing it was it was learning how to trust my friends again learning how to trust my family learning how to trust people around me in my life instead of like just calling one person I had now six people I could call mm. and like balancing out that and, um, you know, and, and in the same way, it was, it was a lot of deep breaths and, and telling myself like, you're good, man, you know, yeah. you got this, like, it's okay, you know, and, and really trying to be a stabilizing force for myself. And I think that the mix of the two, like, you can't just isolate yourself and be like, I'm going to deal with this on my own, because yeah. that, that, that'll eventually come and come back around and get you. Um, but at the same time, you got to be able to like take a deep breath in those moments and be like, I got you. We're good. 